Are those my jeans? <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody for attending the memorial service for Kimberly Renee Jimenez. It's a tragic loss for the Smosh community, the Filipino community, as well as the brunettes with big sorority energy community. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it was possible to be so sweet you can turn into a cavity and die? <laughs> <laughs> Having known Kimmy for about four and a half years, I had the privilege of watching her continue to develop her talents as well as see her personality shine more over time. Above all else, Kimmy was living proof that people truly can change. When she first started at Smosh, she just acted so nice and had no personality. Now, I realize that is her personality. <laughs> <laughs> She's like if they made an open world game for Walmart greeters. <laughs> she used to be like a walking Siri. The only difference is Siri can tell you a joke if you ask her to. Oh my god. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I saw her and Damien in the same room, it was like watching two series talk to each other. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Sorry, it is 70 degrees outside today. <laughs> now it's the same except they're both well manicured. <laughs> We wanted Amanda at this funeral because, you know, they worked together for years at a restaurant, and when we brought it up to Amanda, she said, I literally have no stories. <laughs> <laughs> As an actress, Kimmy was classically trained, unlike her dogs. <laughs> and we all come a long way, you know? Olivia, in the beginning, was always 15 minutes late with a Starbucks in her hand. Now she's 35 minutes late with an Erwan coffee in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, back in 2015, dressed like he stole everything off of an Old Navy mannequin. Okay. Now Old Navy is building mannequins based off of his personality. <laughs> <laughs> when Noah first started, he looked like a lanky, awkward 17-year-old just trying to make it in this business. Now he looks worse. <laughs> when Tommy first started, I didn't know his name for two years. <laughs> now, you know, Arash is still pretty new, but it's okay, she's so nice. Oh, f Please have something unique about yourself. Like, <laughs> do, do you roller skate? Are you gay? Can you please, like, dye your hair green or something? Please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to everyone who was invited to Kimmy's wedding, congratulations, you don't have to think of an excuse anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Kimmy Jimenez <laughs> was the greatest actor to ever grace the YouTube screen. But first, you're probably wondering who I am. My name is Dean Francois. Failed actor, failed director, failed screenwriter, <laughs> successful internet acting coach. <laughs> I have represented some of the greatest internet actors of all time, such as Addison Rae, Nyan Cat <laughs> and the Annoying Orange. I coach my students to be good, to be great at one thing. For Nyan Cat, it was Nyanning. <laughs> for the Annoying Orange, it was being annoying. And for Kimmy Jimenez, it was being annoying. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw her, I was in the audience for a play she was in. She was laughing and smiling and enunciating her sentences perfectly the entire play. It was tremendous. It was the greatest production of Miracle Worker I'd ever seen. <laughs> now, admittedly, I don't know much about YouTube. I don't have a computer. When Kimmy told me she wanted to perform on YouTube, I said, isn't that the band with Bono in it? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Since then, I've become very familiar with YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, 
the Little League of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Kimmy's got a face not for the big screen. No, Kimmy has a face for a tiny screen that you watch out of your peripherals when you're doing your makeup or taking a sh <laughs> In fact, that's what you're probably doing right now. <laughs> Keep pushing! <laughs> oh, is that a turn or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> that was also a joke. <laughs> and, and a crass one. And for that, I'm sorry. But I'll pay in my own little way. <laughs> Kimmy has a very unique acting style. It's like as if a featured extra didn't leave. <laughs> now, here are some internet acting tips that I've given Kimmy over the years. When in doubt, smile. Anger, smile. Sad, smile. Only do one emotion all the time. <laughs> I taught her all about live performance. During the last Smosh live show, Kimmy revealed that she once got drunk and melted cheese on a paper towel. Now this was a big moment because it was the first time we learned that Kimmy did stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and an Instagram handle was born. And I taught her to stay humble professionally, which is why she always made sure to go uncredited. <laughs> In acting, it's important to have personal relationships. And Kimmy, of course, has a giant stupid golden retriever at home <laughs> named Shane. <laughs> <laughs> and she also has a dog. I believe its name was uh, T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> And always make sure to stay networking in this industry. Maybe by throwing pool parties. But of course, keep the vibe cool, so don't invite Damien. <laughs> that was my directive, specifically. <laughs> now, as is customary with all acting techniques, I will make eye contact with everyone in the room. <laughs> I've done great things for Kimmy's career. She was cast in a Matthew McConaughey movie. You might have heard about this. Of course, the movie was canceled, and it was Kimmy's fault. <laughs> don't Google that. Again, I don't use computers. We'll miss you, Kimmy. There were so many things to remember about you, like how you wore denim jackets and white sneakers. I wrote that joke three days ago. <laughs> Farewell, Kimmy. Rest in t-shirts. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Cammy, but you might know me better by my pen name, Kimmy Jimenez Queen 444. <laughs> I'm one of hundreds of people that go into every single Smosh video to comment on how beautiful, talented, <laughs> gorgeous, elite, top notch, high class, and wonderful. Kimmy Jimenez is. <laughs> me and my colleagues are even in the comments right now. Look! We work hard. <laughs> Most people think I'm a bot, but I am real. <laughs> I am real. I have a real home. I eat three real meals a day, <laughs> consisting of whatever Kimmy Jimenez eats on Eat It or Eat It. If she eats, I eat. <laughs> if she eats, I eat! <laughs> and I am a real big fan of beautiful elite world class actress Kimmy Amenez Superstar! <laughs> crown emoji, crown emoji, sparkle emoji, big smile, big smile, big smile! <laughs> She's beautiful. Like if Aubrey Plaza was social chair in her sorority. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Like if a tiramisu was brought to life by a witch. <laughs> and she's elite. Like Whole Foods. <laughs> yes, she was our queen. Kimmy Jimenez, why did you have to die? 
frown emoji, streaming tears emoji, crown emoji, sparkle emoji, skull emoji. <laughs> when she died, none of you wrote her obituary. Red face cussing emoji. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it myself. You're all welcome. <clears throat> Kimmy Jimenez was an incredible, beautiful baby born perfectly on August 20th in the number one most incredible hospital in Irvine, California to an elite father who immediately recognized her potential and grace and a gorgeous mother who felt no pain. <laughs> she went to an elite, beautiful school where she majored in being phenomenal. 100% of her teachers remember her as a joy to have in class. In July of 2018, Kimmy revived dying YouTube channel Smosh, home of unelite female performers like Olivia, Jackie, Courtney, Angela, and Amanda. Also elite performer Arasha. <laughs> While at Smosh, Kimmy did everything from being a prestigious actress to being elite. <laughs> then she died, becoming the most perfect, gorgeous, incredible corpse the world has ever seen. <laughs> with a lifeless body more elite and more beautiful than any body has ever been. <laughs> In conclusion, to sum up the gorgeous Kimi Jimenez and her superior beautiful life in one final comment, come to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, elite superstar queen Kimi Jimenez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Hit her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Paula Cleet, but everyone calls me the Crusher. Kimmy and I were twin strikers on our high school team. The star streaks, star streaks shoot high. <laughs> <laughs> we played back in the days of Orange County, me and her. Went from youth soccer all the way up to young adult soccer. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> now, in many ways, Kimmy and I had those classic soccer rivalries you see in the movies, right? We were at odds, but we kept each other sharp. She was from the right side of the tracks, I was from the left. She was a brunette, I had brown hair. She <laughs> bent it. I beckoned. <laughs> but what we shared was special, all right? Because we kept each other on our toes, much like soccer balls that we often kicked into the goal. <laughs> Star Street shoot high! <laughs> In fact, our team was on track to win state. But all that changed when Kimmy committed the ultimate foul and left our team so she could play for the team of Hollywood. She moved on from playing real soccer to playing pretend soccer in Claritin commercials. <laughs> what a win! What a win! I mean, really, she turned her back on the team and me for this? I mean, where is the grass? Where's the orange slices? You guys are using your hands! Red card! Red card! Red card! Smosh doesn't even have a cool name like the Star Streaks. Star Streaks shoot high! <laughs> Kimmy, you know, if you had stayed with soccer, you could have dated a nice, hot Spanish player that's got lisps on his S's. Instead, you're dating a hot Australian who's got lisps on his R's. <laughs> we could have played in FIFA. Instead, you're getting hit up for pics of your feet for five dollars. <laughs> Kimmy, we could have been in the World Cup. Instead, you went out and you got a D cup to fit those Hollywood boobies. <laughs> you left the field, but at least in life, there's an open shot on goal, right? So explain why you never scored. <laughs> huh? This new team that I see here, it's a disgrace. You? You don't even look like you drink water. <laughs> yeah. And you, are you the goalkeeper or the gatekeeper? I'm just saying that because you look like you gatekeep subjects. <laughs> yeah. I'm calling you out, white man. And you, you're dribbling. Like on your chin. Do that, slurp it up. <laughs> Kimmy, you were so good at flopping on the field. Where's that acting in these Smosh videos? <laughs> you missed out on a lot. You missed out on us going to nationals. You missed out on us going to state. And you missed out when we all crashed in the forest and we had to eat each other like the Yellow Jackets. You missed out on that. <laughs> Coach wanted you to eat them. Instead, Stephanie had to. Oh my God. Kimmy, you may have made some uh, different choices in your life and gone a different path than I did. 
But you know what, in the end, you ended up in the ultimate penalty box. And I don't mean the coffin. I mean acting for a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing. I will say this, though. Kimmy wanted to stand up for what was right. Before she died, she asked Smosh if there could be a raise. Just a general raise for everyone. Right here, I've got the response. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> with all that said, Kimmy, good game. And I want to exit here with the tunnel. Come on. Post game tunnel. Come on. Make me feel good. Post game tunnel. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Make a little tunnel. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My name is Dana, um, but most of you probably just know me as Kimmy's best friend, <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> you know, I think I speak for all of us when I say that I am just, I'm so glad that we are all gathered to honor Kimmy um, between her informal engagement party, official engagement party, birthday party, bachelorette party, bridal shower, and wedding. I just truly feel like she hasn't been celebrated enough this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, her fiance, uh, Shane, he was gonna be here today, but he's in a, he's in a deep period of grief. So, he had to say nari. <laughs> <laughs> he's really wrestling with the grief of it all. Um, feeling really down. Unda. <laughs> you know, there's so much that she still wanted to do. So many dreams left unachieved, like starring in her own reality show, The Real Housewives of Professional Wrestlers, where she would talk shit about all of you guys in a straight to camera interview instead of just to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> all of us will suffer greatly without Kimmy but none as much as her most reliable friend, um, someone who has always been there for her, Derek, the guy at the Amazon Fresh return counter. <laughs> <laughs> In the final moments before her death, Kimmy pulled me close and whispered into my ear her final wish, that we save the receipt to her coffin and keep our eyes peeled just in case we need to dig her up and exchange it for a better deal. <laughs> um, she did, however, ask that when we make the return, we have to be very, very nice about it. <laughs> I was cleaning out Kimmy's closet, and as I sifted through hundreds of Courtney's old hand-me-downs, um, I stumbled upon these envelopes. Now, those of you who aren't as close to Kimmy as I am, probably don't know that Kimmy majored in psychology or psychiatry or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I have here are invoices for each of you who took advantage of her professional services throughout the past few years. <laughs> so this one is for Courtney. This one is for Courtney. Um, this one is for Arasha, whoever that is. <laughs> this one is for Tommy. Um, Courtney. Uh, Noah. Shane. Why is kind of douchey? <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, seems like you spent a lot of time together. Courtney, Courtney, uh, Courtney, uh, Courtney, um, <laughs> Olivia, and oh, um, this one is for Patrick. Um, actually, it's not for her therapy services. It's a request for you to reimburse Kimmy's therapist um, because you, quote, triggered her by looking too much like her shitty ex boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, all proceeds will be donated to Kimmy's favorite organization, the Union of Humans Who Are Kind-Hearted But Also Passive-Aggressive, uh, more commonly known by its acronym, AK. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, guys. Uh, super awesome to know that all I have to do to get cast in a Smosh video is have my best friend fucking die. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
sweet and smiley to everyone. Many of you have never met me because Kimmy lives every moment of her life like it's a self-tape. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is weird because you'd think she'd book more. <laughs> I have spent my whole life cast into the shadows. Silenced! I remain silent when Kimmy was typecast as Hooters girl and every Hooters ever. I remained silent when Kimmy was asked, do you know anyone diverse? <laughs> Even though she is diverse. <laughs> but there are a few moments when Kimmy did let me out. You may have seen me in public, like at the UPS store or with people who wouldn't accept her expired coupons, <laughs> <laughs> or with any wedding vendor, <laughs> or on that boat in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> now that Kimmy's dead, along with her compulsive, cloying need to please, I'm finally free! <laughs> During Kimmy's lifetime, I got a lot of writing done. So now I present some of my passages from our burn book. <laughs> like from the movie Mean Girls, or as Kimmy calls it, misunderstood young women. <laughs> Shane, I know you love the gym. So here's a really hard workout, trying to talk to you for more than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, you're creepy. You're not invited to Kimmy's wedding, obviously. Uh, you're not on the list, but you are on a list, the FBI watch list. <laughs> you fucking creep! <laughs> Arasha. Who are you? <laughs> You've been here for almost a year, and the only word I can use to describe you is Arasha. <laughs> Courtney, Kimmy is one of your closest friend. Even though... <laughs> even though you're more influencer than human being. <laughs> To your credit, Kimmy has been influenced by your style. TikTok white savior complex. It's, really, it's super in right now. And Tommy, your whole life is an inner demon. That's why we're best friends. Now I'm in need of my next human vessel. <laughs> so if anyone knows the following people, please have them call me, Ian Hecox. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this gross jokes, like a lot of Kimmy's have been said before. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here for Kimmy's funeral. God, Kimmy, there's so much I will miss about you. I will miss your face, which after your tragic accident was permanently stuck in a smile. Uh, you were always having those allergic reactions where you were like gasping for air. The, the doctor said it was her laughing. I don't buy it. <laughs> I will miss you on Try Not To Laugh. God, you were so good sitting in that stool. <laughs> There's so much Kimmy did in life. Like, did you know she has a hot sauce based on her feisty personality? You might recognize it as Chobani yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if anyone knows this, but Kimmy was engaged. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how anyone knows that. Wow. <laughs> Kimmy was supposed to marry Tall Shane later this year. <laughs> um, but in her place, Shane will marry a bag of sugar with high-waisted jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Kimmy would not want us to cry. She did enough of that when she was alive. Instead, <laughs> let's celebrate her life the way Kimmy would with 14 pool parties. <laughs> let's get onto this will. Oh dear. Arasha will receive Kimmy's iconic outfits. Arasha, I hope you like the aesthetic lingerie cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's different than your current aesthetic, extra in a college movie written by a 50-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> As per Kimmy's wishes, Shane Top will join Tall Shane as his wrestling partner. Uh, new tag team name ideas are these. Uh, Russian nesting dolls. <laughs> uh, don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> and Shane Top isn't the main one this time. <laughs> uh, Noah will receive Kimmy's yoga equipment since Noah's a stretched out Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy leaves Courtney a box set of the Big Bang Theory. Here's a Big Bang Theory that Courtney got bangs because they didn't feel queer enough. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> And Olivia will receive Kimmy's bank loan. She thought Olivia would relate to it since it also has low interest. <laughs> God damn. Goodbye, sweet Kimmy. On this comedy channel, you were by far the kindest. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I don't know if I have anything prepared for y'all. This is crazy. Not a whole page. Oh no! Hi guys. I'm Jimmy, and I'm dead. Like my existence on this channel. <laughs> you, you know, fun fact: this video is gonna get fewer views than there are senators. Fun fact. Like a hundred. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. You know, this ends my illustrious career at Smosh. You guys have mentioned some of the iconic characters you let me play. I don't know if you mentioned like cute brunette girl, pretty brunette girl. Oh, girl dumping blood on people twice. That one is good. <laughs> oh, and girl with Damien. Many times. <laughs> so many times. Um, and, you know, it's it's not in my nature to roast people, as you all pointed out. I'm I'm nice. Um, but God, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I guess if I, if I had to. Olivia, stop frying your hair trying to compete with mine. Those ends are as dead as me. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, I'm tired of everyone shitting on Shane behind his back. I know you think he has white privilege, pretty privilege, muscle privilege, blonde privilege, Disney privilege, ABC series regular privilege. <laughs> People don't know this but Shane was homeschooled <laughs> and he overcame. <laughs> Don't worry, Shane, I'm an ally. <laughs> Courtney, I know you spend a lot of time worrying that you look like a conservative. <laughs> But really, ba babe, did you really think like bangs were gonna help? <laughs> <laughs> like bangs? <laughs> the hairstyle named after the sound a gun makes? <laughs> 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 it's a critical, Courtney. <laughs> it's a critical. <laughs> Noah. Oh. oh, I love when Noah and I get to talk. He goes on these like very passionate rants. But you know what? Noah never mansplains. He voice blames. <laughs> oh, Arasha! Hey. Oh my god! Congrats on being your first and last viewer on the channel! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, Tommy! Um, a lot of people don't know this about Tommy, but he grew up as an only child. Um, shocking. 
I know. Yeah, <laughs> shocking. You would have never guessed from his Mickey Mouse orgasm laugh <laughs> the way he invited us all to his birthday and made him watch us perform his little songs. <laughs> or the fact that he's the only child in his relationship. <laughs> Don't worry, Tommy, I'm an ally. <laughs> Why isn't why isn't Damien here? Did you guys tell him this was one of my pool parties? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damien's back there. I, you were invited, I promise. You didn't invite him, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dana. Dana, I'm, I'm really not surprised you're here. You wouldn't even let me die independently. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know I know you sent in a tape to be on, on this channel, and I'm really sorry to break this to you, um, but you're white. Oh. It would be like a marshmallow in the snow. <laughs> Just like white on white. Like people would think you're like the female Noah or tall Shane, <laughs> or like working class Courtney. <laughs> it's, it's too confusing. <laughs> All right. Wait, oh who's that guy? Oh, well, um, in closing, Smosh is full of <laughs> <laughs>